down. All these people in there. To the surprise of absolutely nobody, I'm standing here today celebrating the jubilee of 600 days as Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. But to be honest, Ludwig, I really appreciate the gesture of setting all of that up but I don't want it anymore going forward because what's the point? 600 days, 700 days, 800 days, hey, 1000 days, all of that is a given anyway. Because one thing will never change and that is the Ring General being the greatest and longest reigning intercontinental heavyweight champion of all time! And the matter of fact is, I'm running out of competition here. There's no man there that is worthy of challenging me for this great championship. I mean, who is it? You tell me. Who? I think they gave him an answer, Cole. Shake for this. Hell yeah, Luz. Hell yeah. Whole place loves him. Every city we go to. Now look at that look Gunther's giving you. Who's just got me in some stuff with Imperium, I think. You know, I think you got yourself in hot water no, with Imperium. Once this song hits your bones, you have to. I get it, yeah. I get it. Simple gestures for a very simple audience. I get it totally. He called you simple. What's up? CJ, the last time I saw you, I eliminated you from the Royal Rumble, I think. I expected you, you wanted to have a word with me, but that's not the way. It's still a celebration here, and I'm sensing some kind of disrespect here. No disrespect. No disrespect, dudes. You earned your stripes. 
I see the work you put in. 600 plus days, Oos. The longest I see champion in WWE history. The ring general, Gota. Thank you, Jay. I, I appreciate that. But I gotta say, you're a very accomplished man yourself. You're one of the most decorated tag team wrestlers of all time. Yeah. You were part of the best tag team in WWE history. Yeah. You even hold the record for longest reigning tag team champions of all time. And the best is, you only had to put in 50% of the work for it. No yeet. I mean, CJ, that, that's why I'm confused. That's why I don't understand how we see eye to eye. Because unlike you, I achieved all of this, doing all the work on my own. Well, I guess you about to get 100% of this work then, Gunther. So allow me to reintroduce myself. They call me Ooze. A thousand plus days of tag team champions. First tag team to main event WrestleMania. And all, it's 2024. First singles champion. And if you want Jay Uso to be the new Intercontinental Champion, then let me hear you say yeet. Well, good for you that after 15 years, you finally developed the guts to step out of the shadow of your family and achieve something for yourself. So let me talk pretty plain and simple to you. You're not the first and you won't be the last that wants to ride on the Ring General's coattail. But when I beat you, I'm gonna beat you worse than your own family ever did. I'm gonna beat you so bad that you wish yourself back to the good old days where people couldn't tell you and your brother apart. Oos! Now, Jey Uso is not going to be disrespected. He takes Gunther down, and of course, Kaiser and Finchie, the henchmen from Imperium, all over Jey Uso. Outnumbered. And finally, the New Day, of course, who have their own issues with Imperium, coming to Jey Uso's aid. Gunther, Kaiser, and Finchie will retreat. What you want? Huh? Huh? What you say when we got three on three? Huh? Let's go. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That's But Jey Uso made That's it pretty man. clear. He wants an opportunity at Gunther in, in the Intercontinental Championship. And Pat, where do we sign up for that? Hopefully, as soon as possible, because everybody can feel the energy in all of St. Louis as Gunther and Jey Uso were not only complimenting each other and talking to each other, but seemingly setting up a fight for the Intercontinental title that Jey Uso has certainly earned. Jey Uso says that 2024 will be the 